chapter 2 text 43 we discussed yesterday today we shall discuss 44 bhogaishwarya prasakta nam taya prachetasam vyavsayatmika buddhi samadhuna vidhiyate in the minds of those who are too attached to sense enjoyment and material opulence and who are bewildered by such things the resolute determination for devotional service to the Supreme Lord does not take place. Very important shloka. This shloka says that who cannot be determined in bhakti. Right? The uh, resolute determination for devotional service to the Supreme Lord does not take place. To whom? In the minds of those who are too attached to sense enjoyment and material opulence and who are bewildered by such things okay what is that two thing sense enjoyment and material opulence most of the most of the time we see that we or i am attached to this thing we can say that People in the world, basically they are behind these two things only. Sense enjoyment and material opulence. Bhoga Aishwarya. Bhoga Aishwarya Prasakta means very much attached. So generally people are behind this. Either they want Aishwarya, so much opulence, or they want Bhoga, material enjoyment, sense gratification. Samadhi means fixed mind, purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Samadhi means fixed mind. The Vedic dictionary, the Nirukti says, Samyag adhi yate asmin atma tattva yathat mayam. When the mind is fixed for understanding the self, it is said to be in Samadhi. Samadhi Samadhi is never possible for persons interested in material sense enjoyment and bewildered by such temporary things. They cannot get into Samadhi. Samadhi means when the mind is fixed for understanding the self. Completely we are uh, thinking about uh, this self-realization. No other thought. Mind is not at all diverted. Mind is... Because mind is generally behind this bhoga and ashwarya, material opulence, sense gratification and uh, this name, fame, glory, material things. Bhoga, ashwarya, sense gratification and opulence. Material enjoyment, sense enjoyment and ashwarya, material opulences. So they are, so, Samadhi is never possible for a person interested in material sense enjoyment and be built up by such temporary things. So, people who are too much attached to material sense enjoyment, they cannot understand self-realization talk. So, they are more or less condemned by the process of material energy. More or less they are condemned by the process of material energy. Okay. So, One second. Okay. So, this uh, very important, this word, Sanskrit word, Bhog Aishwarya Prasaktanam Taya Prat Chetasam Devasayatmika Buddhi. In uh, Ek Devasayatmika ek Buddhi, Ek He Kurnandana. In the beginning, it has been said that you decide, you uh, decide, you make your determination that in this life, I shall execute Krishna consciousness. This determination should be there. Okay, we should decide very firm determination that I must... In this life, I shall execute bhakti, Krishna consciousness in such a way. I will do bhakti, but how? I will do bhakti in such a way that after leaving this body, no more waiting. 
after leaving this body i enter into the spiritual world and go directly to golok vrindavan krishna loka this is called vaisayatmika buddhi nishyatmika nishyatmika means determination so this kind of buddhi we should make intelligence vaisayatmika buddhi means i will do whatever happens but i will do bhakti and i will do bhakti in such a way that after leaving this body only i will go back home back to god it yes so but krishna says that persons who are attached now okay we have firm determination now what is the what can be the problems here so krishna says that persons who are attached attached to what bhoga aishwarya what is that material sense enjoyment and aishwarya material opulences yes bhoga aishwarya prasakta na so those who are too much attached to material enjoyment and material sense gratification material opulence what will i taya aparad chetasam so and those who have become bewildered or who are mad after material sense enjoyment some people are mad and you know, they will they will not see anything they are they want sense enjoyment they want so, so they will uh, act madly in order to get those material things so what is that taya aprahat chetasam vaisa yatmika buddhi so taya aprahat chetasam those people cannot have that determination if if i am too much attached for material enjoyment and i am mad for material opulences i cannot become fixed in bhakti i cannot become determined i cannot have such determination they will fail to have such determination okay sometimes people ask how i can get firm determination how i can be determined bhakti so we have to become detached from this material bhoga swarya therefore according to uh, our vedic civilization there is voluntary renunciation just like maharaj bharat he was the emperor of the world and at the age of 24 years he gave up everything maharaj bharat is a very uh, long long he appeared and he was very famous very great devotee but lord uh, so and uh, another example lord buddha so he was also prince but he and in very young age he also gave up everything he was prince so he gave up father's kingdom everything wife so so this is uh, this kind of renunciation is recommended if we simply remain in material opulence and enjoyment that will be our disqualification for entering into the kingdom of god if we simply remain in material opulence and enjoyment bhog aishwarya okay so that is the so prabhupada is saying that that we have to be very much fixed in our determination and for that we need to be detached you know renounced we have to renounce it material opulence and enjoyment otherwise if we are attached to material opulence and enjoyment that will be our disqualification for entering into the kingdom of god too much attachment too much increasing of material civilization means the next life is very much dark so this bhog aishwarya prasakta naam very important word okay so prabhu says that uh, rajputra chiram jiva o oh, the son of royal order you live forever okay because you do not know next life is very dark for you because you do not cultivate any krishna consciousness you have got money and you are enjoying sense enjoyment and as soon as this body will be finished no more your control so for prince what is the blessing to live forever because uh, you have so much money in enjoying facility everything so you live forever and but because you are enjoying so much material thing you are not cultivating any bhakti 
so next life is very dark for you so this life you live forever so then you are completely uh, so so much money so much sense enjoyment and as soon as the body is finished as soon as the death is there we cannot have any control so uh, we are completely under the control of material nature and we have to accept a body as we have done in this life whatever is done as per that the next body is waiting so because this life is preparation for the next life so if somebody prepares well he like a student prepare for entrance exam so this life is like that only so somebody prepares well he may go to top class college somebody does little then low class like that so somebody does nice bhakti they go to bakuntha Bay- goloka and like that and somebody does sinful activity they go to hell hell somebody in pious activity they go to heaven so like that animal life in many so this is this life is preparation for the next life so you have got very concrete example robert gave this example president kennedy he was very young man very rich man and he got the president post with great endeavor he spent so much money he had his wife and children very famous but in one moment everything finished robert says everything finished just so we do not know that we are standing on a tottering platform so however nice arrangement we may make this will be finished in one moment okay kamala jala dala jeevan atala mala if you see the lo- the leaf of a lotus sometime on the on top of that uh, some water drops droplets are there small small so they are very flickering little shake and the water will within a moment nothing no sign you can see of water so life is like that kamala jaladala jeevana karmal in any moment everything can be finished that is why that is we are missing we are missing this point that any moment death can come this prabhupada is used to say that this platform we are standing on is tottering platform so we are simply sticking to a false platform that this will save me this will save me we are thinking this will save me that will save me this person will save me my family members will save me nobody can save so they have a bhakti note ago says the jada vidya jato maya ra vaibhav this material enjoyment material advancement of civilization very nice very dazzling just like when we pass on the street or road of uh, this america prabhupada used to say in your american cities it looks so nice so many lights so many night night illuminating sign boards with neon and all but we should always remember that this nice situation is not permanent settlement it's all temporary any moment i will have to give up everything everything so therefore if one becomes attached to this uh, false platform this material platform because this is false platform but it is still illuminating so called illuminating false platform if one get attached to this then his determination to go back to god and will not be very much intense a person if he is attached attracted to anything in this material world that attraction will make his determination down towards krishna okay so one should not be attached to anything in this world no material sense gratification no uh, there is no concession material sense gratification should come to zero at least okay so no attachment no material opulence no sense gratification then one's determination will be very strong so if one is not attached then he will be having a strong determination but one is attached if one is attached then what will happen his determination will not be very strong to go back to god at his determination will not be that much intense intensity will be less that is being explained so bhoga swara prasakta okay so in the mind of those who are too much attached to sense enjoyment 
this determination cannot come for bhakti who are bewildered by material things for them this resolute devotion uh, determination resolute de- determination for devotion service to the lord krishna does not take place so they cannot take the so we have to voluntarily accept simple life just like we are sitting here you know in the in our ashram simply sleep on the floor or sit on the floor simple life simple dress simple everything and you know, not like western culture everywhere they go this is not good that is not good so much complication whatever is available we accept and engage in the service of krishna that's it that is simple life no complain this is not good that is not good this is that i need that only then only i can sleep i need that only then only i can eat no so therefore uh, like very much uh, very rich class of people a high class of people they can they, for them coming to this standard is very difficult okay so because they cannot sit on floor they cannot sleep on floor they cannot eat on the paper plate or leafy plate you know without a spoon they cannot eat so much complications okay so what is the difference if you sit down on the floor or if you sit on a very nice comfortable sofa what is the difference anyway you are sitting on it so what to secure a very nice couch you have to waste your time so much in order to <clears throat> buy that sofa set or that chairs comfortable thing you have to earn so much money and so much time will be wasted okay valuable time this valuable time can be cultivated uh, can be used for cultivating krishna consciousness so otherwise for more and more material enjoyment if one our life is not simple life then in order to make more and more and uh, upgradation in our life material upgradation then we have to waste so much time energy okay so this is called material civilization so people are extending the comforts of life but we don't know that this life is temporary so much we are working to make things eh, and plan so many things but we are forgetting that life is temporary and one day everything we have to leave here only so that is why this is very important to live simple life how long how long we shall live in this comfortable zone and eh? our eh, soul eh, we are soul spirit soul we are eternal so this body is not eternal okay so jesus christ lord jesus uh, he also gave instruction that after gaining everything if you lose your own soul what is the gain you attain everything but you lost your self realization the what actually you did not get anything so the, therefore this is another kind of disqualification for advancing in spiritual consciousness what is the disqualification bhogeshwarya prasakta na becoming too much attached to this material comforts of life okay so therefore according to vedic civilization a boy is trained to become brahmachari brahmachari means complete celibacy no sex life no amusement because just to train him not to be attracted by this material sense enjoyment he have to be trained like that so then he will be able to grasp what is spiritual life therefore restriction but if from the very childhood in the school college the boys and girls are allowed to enjoy in this sex life then it is very difficult then it is very difficult to understand or to enter into spiritual life so nowadays kids are engaged in this material opulence sense gratification from childhood they are aware of all these things so for them it is be- for them it is becoming very difficult to understand the concept of bhakti but olden days they will have good training from the child days only so all the children will accept and they will for them also it will be very easy to learn so if we teach our children simply uh, sense enjoyment then how how we are expecting them to become a spiritual personality the result will be so much confusion therefore 
in the western countries confusion is there during prabhupa time hippie culture was there these hippies were uh, they they were brought, they they have been brought up in material sense enjoyment very nicely so much comfort but they were confused frustrated because uh, they were hankering for something better so that is spiritual happiness so when they got spiritual happiness krishna consciousness they were happy so one has to understand this point and voluntarily has to accept this krishna consciousness this bhakti uh, the process the movement given by shri gopa and then he will find uh, bliss he will find happiness so that is sure so those who have taken to it just ask them just uh, uh, discuss with them and see actually how it works so that is called happiness okay okay so this uh, krishna consciousness is very nice process so it will bring us to our goodness at least so those who are acting in the mode of passion they will remain in same position as they are now and those acting in the mode of ignorance darkness without any knowledge they are being degraded in the lower grades of life so this is the material world but krishna is advising arjuna that either goodness or passion or ignorance after all they are all activities of the material world even the goodness so what what we have to do so we have to come above beyond three gunas we have to transcend the position of goodness also so goodness is not qualification for spiritual advancement satguna is not the qualification but it will help so if a man is very good man that it is helping to spiritual life but that is not uh, the cause goodness is not the qualification satguna is not the qualification but it will help so here the krishna consciousness movement the chanting is directly offering is spiritual life so even one is not in goodness even one is in the darkest part of the quality of ignorance tamoguna is still if he can if he chants he can be immediately elevated to the bhakti to the spiritual platform which is recommended by krishna what that you have come to the platform above you you, you should come to the Uh, platform above them goodness we should transcend the three guna so this krishna consciousness movement this bhakti is directly offering the spiritual platform which is above the mode of goodness the quality of goodness will be automatically there any person who is in krishna consciousness his quality of goodness namely he he will be um, pure he does not indulge in illicit sex life he does not smoke even he does not even take tea or coffee even and he does not eat any forbidden food stuff neither he takes part in unnecessary gambling so so good character is immediately there so automatically this goodness is manifested so that is the test so how one is spiritually advanced will be tested how he has acquired all the good quality so by seeing the good qualities one can understand the person is having some advancement in his spirituality so not that a yogi talking with a cigarette in hand there is a there is a culture some yogis they also smoke you know so so he cannot give up smoking even for a moment so but he will declare that i am god i am spiritual advanced so many not i am a guru like that but he is not able to give up this smoking so this is a uh, not very good situation so this person may think that he is spiritually advanced but actually he is uh, kicked up by the material energy in so many ways but still he is claiming sometimes i am very big guru i am god even sometimes they say so uh, So they say like that, I am God, and people are believing. They think God is such a cheap thing. So this kind of bluffing is going on, cheating is going on, and because uh, we are unable to cheat and bluff, 
in devotees they are not very expert in cheating and bluffing they are honest they are pure so people do not uh, cooperate with the devotees because people themselves want cheating uh, they want to be cheated and they want to be bluffed so that is the business so may most of the people want to be cheated so others are cheating them okay so uh, that's the point here so we have to come above this we have to rise above these modes uh, be, and we have to be transcendental to all of them so we have to be free from all duality from all anxieties for gain and safety and be established in itself okay so a person who who is a patient for of a joint is he if he eats sugar candy he feels it's bitter but that is the medicine so he should eat that okay then then when we continuously take this medicine then one day the jaundice is cured and the candy is again appeared sweet so when the material disease is cured then all this chanting and all process of bhakti will uh, will taste very sweet and uh, so but as long as we are in this bhoga aswarya prasakta na as long as we are attached to bhoga and aswarya the bhukti and mukti we will not get the sweet taste of devotional service okay so very important shloka bhoga aswarya prasakta naam taya punat chet sam vyavsayatmika buddhi samadhuna vidhiyate 45 we shall do tomorrow hari krishna thank you so much shilpabad ki jai gantrashtram bhagavatam ki jai anand kodi vaishnavam ki jai hari krishna